A prefix is a letter or letters added to the beginning of a base word. A suffix is a letter or letters added to the end of a base word. Each prefix and suffix has its own meaning. So what you're going to do is say each word and then you're going to identify the suffix and prefix and define the meaning of the suffix or prefix. So let's do this first one together, okay? Um, you're gonna need to get a highlighter at your table and you're gonna go through each of the words on your list and highlight the suffix or prefix. So in your first word, it's disobey. So you can see disobey means to not obey. Your prefix dis means not, okay? Most of these you are all familiar with, but we are gonna go through them. I'll do a few with you, and then you can finish um, them with your sub today. And if you have any questions, I am certain she will be able to answer them for you, okay? There was a couple that I ended up using um, Google for just to make sure that I was writing it correctly. Um, I think that beautiful was actually one that I um, wanted to double check, mostly because it has a suffix of full. But if I write the space word, beauty doesn't end with I, it ends with Y. So if you are beautiful, then you are full of beauty. Does that make sense? So beautiful means you are full of beauty. But because it ends in I, you have to, I'm sorry, ends in Y. When you add the suffix, you're gonna drop the Y and change it to I, okay? Uh, let's go back up here and do readable. So you have a suffix, able, okay? So if something is readable, okay, so you're going to separate those words. You don't have to put um, a slash between them, just write them separately, read a bowl. If something is readable, it is able to be read, okay? Um, incomplete, you have a prefix, in, and then, now you can also write over here, in, complete, so you end up having more room, okay? So if something is incomplete, it is, not complete, okay? Then you have helpless. I'm gonna go through and read those and you can highlight with me. Helpless, your suffix is less. Disappear, you have a prefix. Youthful, cheerful, inactive, breakable, homeless, incorrect, playful, and we did beautiful, redo, and careless, okay? So now you're gonna go back through and continue, okay? If you are helpless, then you are with 
without help. Okay, if you are helpless, you are without help. Okay, so down here, homeless. would be with out a home, okay? So you can see how less, the suffix less is without, okay? And here you've got full on both of these and you have playful, just like be uh, beautiful. So if you're playful, you are full of play, like my puppy is playful. If you are cheerful, you are full of cheer, meaning you are very happy. Okay, youthful is someone who is full of youth. Um, I believe we have done dis, if you disappear, dis, that prefix is meaning to not be visible. If you disappear, you are not visible or not able to be seen, okay? And then let's see, incorrect up here. You had incomplete, was not complete. So incorrect means not correct, okay? Now, I know I didn't finish all of it, but you guys can go and do that and it shouldn't take you too long, okay? Get busy.